Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brian. I want to show you in just under two minutes how you can do your annual maintenance and some uh, routine maintenance for your Red Max 7500 backpack blower. So there's three different components that you want to do some routine maintenance for on your Red Max blower. The first one is the air filter. The second one is the spark plug, and the third one is the fuel filter. Now I'm gonna do a quick change for all three so you guys know how it's done. And if you guys are having some of your backpack blowers that are bogging down, you're just not getting the power out of them that you used to be. You don't have to necessarily take them in for maintenance. All you gotta do is get about $20 worth of parts, and let me show you how you can change them and get some of that power back to your backpack blower. All right, I wanna show you guys how to change the air filter. It's the simplest thing you can do. Most of these are about 12 to 15 bucks over at your dealer. So this right here is your air filter. As you can see, this one's looking pretty nice doesn't have any debris on it and this is actually from a whole season so we didn't actually do too bad a lot of these get tore up though many guys that have grass covered all over here now you can take high uh, pressure air you know just blow it all out uh, but honestly for 10 or 12 bucks it's not that bad to replace one of these once a year just goes right back right in top put your lid back on these lids by the way if you guys ever bust these are about 15 bucks not too bad tighten these guys back up Next up is the spark plug, pretty straightforward. Pop off the rubber piece that connects the circuit. Take your socket. For me, I just drop it down there first. I don't really have the exact tools for everything, like so. Take off her socket. Remove the spark plug. Not exactly the uh, cleanest that it could be. So. We have our new air filter and the new spark plug. That's the new spark plug looking really nice, really clean. Let's go ahead and drop it in. Get it started just by turning it with your fingers, if you will. You can use the socket and tighten it up. Go ahead and finish tightening it with your wrench. And go ahead and tighten back up your rubber piece. And that's how you change the spark plug. Lastly, I wanna show you guys how to change the fuel filter. This is something that always gets overlooked because you don't really see it inside the gas can. Take this off, take out your gas cap, use a wire hanger, and you're gonna fish out the actual fuel line and the fuel filter. An old wire one works just fine. And as you guys can see, Fair warning, this is gonna be covered in gas. And now you guys have your fuel filter. Now let's change it really quick. We're gonna remove it really simply. You might have a little clamp on the end of it. You can get some pliers and remove it. You're gonna pull off your fuel filter. This is what your new fuel filter looks like. And we're gonna put the new fuel filter on the end of that fuel line. And then we're just gonna put it back in the tank and that's how you change the fuel filter. Make sure you put your gas cap back in. That's how you change the air filter on top, the spark plug in the middle, and the fuel filter on the bottom. I would do these at least annually. You'll start getting a lot of the power back that's been robbed from your blowers. It's about $25 in parts.